Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wogina, back with more Dragalia Lost, here to talk about the new unit that's coming. I'm gonna give my thoughts about her, go over what she does, do all that good stuff. So if you like this video, you can leave a like. And if you do, leave a like. Thank you very much, it helps the channel a whole bunch. You guys are very, have been very good with that, and I thank you very much, every single one of you that does it. Even the ones that don't do it, I thank you very much for watching in general. And you could um, comment down below, tell me what you feel about this unit, if you're summoning or not, if she super interests you or not, stuff like that. And you can subscribe to me if you want some more videos featuring me. Not always Dragalia, but I make sure to release Dragalia stuff. <laughs> Until it's gone, I will continue to release Dragalia videos. That is my promise to you. So anyway, the prize showcase is coming soon. If you're new to the game and you don't know what a prize showcase is, it's basically kind of like you're summoning and you get some potentially cool stuff. And I say potentially cool stuff because here's the stuff that's going to be in there. So first of all, Regina is the new water slash blade unit that's being added. This availability period at the prize showcase goes from the 4th to the 14th at weird my time o'clock. So that's at least 10 days. Um, the platinum prize, as always, is a sunlight stone, a Damascus ignit, or an adamantium ignit. If you're like me, you will always get this middle ingot. Ingot? Ingot. 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 Ingot? Ingot. Yeah, Ingot. You always get this middle one, which is not as good as the other two. Sunlight Stone, very useful. Adamantum Ingot, also very useful. Um, this middle one just not very useful for, for someone like me who has a very big account, but if you're starting a new account, it might help you out a little bit at the beginning. But in general, the Platinum Prize is not something you would really... Basically, in this banner, if you pull Regina, and you're wondering, should I keep summoning? The answer is no. Because there's really nothing else for you on this banner. And you may as well just enjoy the free summons that you're getting. And just hope that maybe, hey, the free summons might give me another spare unit. Or maybe some nice prizes. Who knows? Uh, the gold prizes are, of course, three Sunlight Ores, Champion Testament, Golden Key, and Twinkling Sand for gold prize. Silver sp Silver Prize is Champion Testament, Sunlight Ore. Those are the one main ones that matter. And then the rest of them are okay. Okay to bad, depending on the person. Actually, no, you could use all every single one of these, so I'm going to take that back. All of them very good. Just nothing that you should... Hey, should I summon just for this? No. Anyway, Regina, Commander of the Apostles of the Alien Church of Grams. Uh, observant and charismatic, she's the perfect person for quarreling a ragtag group of apostles. A researcher who is gifted at alchemy, and she shares a, sig a, sigil, a sigil with the angel Sandelfin. It is very weird. I think Regina's the only unit on this banner, and that's very weird. Because we were supposed to get the other angels. Uriel and I believe it was Michael? Yeah, Uriel and Michael. So kind of weird that it's just Regina. <laughs> it's very weird. Very weird choice, but whatever. Anyway, Tactical Skewer is her skill. Deals damage to surrounding enemies and, activa and activates additional effects based on which of the following buffs the user has. Preservation Protocol grants the user a defense amp. Restoration Protocol restores the user's HP. Purification Protocol removes all affliction from the user. Wow. Damage is 2,400 over one hit. Recover potency is 50. Skill energy requires 2,640? Really? Wow. What is the... I guess it is just a defense amp. Because I was going to say it. The amp and th that small cooldown, cooldown is kind of crazy. Imperial, Imperial Casting. Or castling, I think. Deals damage to surrounding enemies, inflicts frostbite, and inflicts two of the following poison, burn, paralysis, storm flash, flash burn, shadow blight, or scorched. Shareful six. <laughs> That's so many afflictions, she doesn't even need them. What, what, what content is water gonna need that she needs so many fucking afflictions? All right, let's continue on. Damage 300 over 7 hits, skill energy 5,280, and it is a shareable, so that's fun. And its shared skill cost is uh, 11,431. Frostbite, Poison, Burn, Paralysis, Stormlash, Flash Burn, Shadow Blight, Scorched. Uh, co-op ability, Strength 10%, Chain co-op ability, Water HP 80% equals Flame Resistance 6%. Ability Sindelfin's Covenant to, at the start of quest, inflicts the Lock Sigil debuff at the user for 300 seconds, but grants them the Preservation Protocol effect if the user continues to charge their 4 strikes. 
The effect granted to them will change every 1.5 seconds. The effect will cycle through preservation protocol, restoration protocol, and purification protocol effects in that order. Lock sigils remaining time will be reduced by 9 seconds each time the user uses tactical skewer, and by 30 seconds each time the user removes an affliction from an ally. When the lock sigil effect wears off, the user will be granted the sigil release effect instead. Sigil release grants the user preservation protocol, restoration protocol, and purification protocol. Such done resistance 100%. Afflicted Punisher 2. Increases the damage enemies inflicted with any affliction by 25%. Also increases damage to enemies with two or more types of afflictions up to an additional 15% based off the number of different afflictions that are inflicted up to a maximum of 4. So there you go, that's why she gives so many afflictions. Okay, so let's talk about Regina, because this is actually a very interesting unit. This is a unit that's just like, yo, I give affliction. That's it. That's my main role here. I'm the Punisher. Hello. Now, obviously, with the new um, Rise of the Sinister Dominion coming out. Sorry, I forgot. For, I just I keep wanting to just call it nihility content, but that's not what it is. Rise of the Sinister Dominion. Suter, obviously, or Sutter? Suter? Sutter? Suter? Sutter. Whatever. Um, the giant fireman that destroyed in Ragnarok. Um, obviously maybe it feels like Regina might be kind of best for that. Why else would you release this unit? It kind of feels like, I think there's been a decent number of apostles who have been very good for the Rise of the Sinister Dominion thing that they've been attached to. So that makes me feel like Regina is going to end up being pretty useful for that. Even though at the moment, the way the afflictions work kind of makes it seem like, I don't know, because I'm pretty sure a lot of bosses start with 100% against certain afflictions. So what's actually kind of a bummer here is that I don't think she has a way to lower their resistance resistance in any way. Unless you use a move um, like the ones that the Halloween Min has, I think is what her name is. Let me double check on that, what her name is. One moment. Yes, yes, here she is. Halloween Melsa, here you go. So she has a thing called Venom Bite that makes it so that the lowers the enemy's poison resistance by 20% for 30 seconds. So the resistance resection will not stack, but the changing direction is possible during the attack. So Venom Bite is kind of one of those moves where it's like, even if they have 100% affliction, and even if that's what they start at, they can still get hit by poison, I believe is the way it works. So that would mean... That's kind of why I'm interested why Regina doesn't really have anything like that. So that makes me feel like the boss that she's about to have can just be afflicted by all of them. But either way, I think this is a very interesting unit to kind of build around. Going to be very interested to see how good she is. Um, she's also an extremely cute girl, so that's also a bonus. So if you're a fan of her character, I think she seems like she's a pretty interesting affliction type unit that makes it so like hey at least she would have a lot of fun inflicting a whole bunch of different afflictions on someone and kind of building her that way and have fun that way and if she ends up being good for the sensor dominion that's good too there's not really a lot of choices for waterblade i think let me actually go back to that one moment okay here we go here we can look at kind of what waterblade's got going on for it it's got Gallimascula, who is very good, as someone explained to me in the comments when I said, I don't know about Gallimascula, it turns out he's actually extremely good for Nihility stuff. So the more you know on that. Learning every single day. Halloween Akasha, who I like because she's the Bacon Beach Priest, 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 Priestess, there you go. Valerio, Samaranzel, Celeria, and uh, Ciliara, and Gerardo, or Gerardo, something like that. Um, not a lot of choices for Water Blade, specifically, so, I don't know, another option is always nice, is what I'm trying to say here. If you don't have any of the other options, which is totally possible, because there's only, <laughs> there's not a lot of them in the game, <laughs> there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven when you count her, so, and one of them is limited, very hard to get. Um, I probably won't be going for her. I'm just gonna let my free multis decide where it goes. 10 is a lot, man. I usually get the unit in under 10, so I think it'll be plenty of time for you to potentially get her, and if you badly want her, I would just let it build up for that 10. Even if it were 10 or 9, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, I think it's counting today. Yeah, it should be around 10. Whatever. So yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. 
If you did, you can always leave a like. Tell me how you feel about Regina. If you're going to be going for her, you're going to be waiting for the free. I think a lot of people are going to be waiting for the free, especially the people who had to sparking on the gala banner previous. And I didn't have the sparking, thankfully, but I was 10 multis away from having the sparking, so I have a decent amount of stuff left over. Which I'll probably save for Halloween to see what the units are. Halloween units are always limited, and last year they really screwed over everyone by making them only be available for two days for some stupid reason. It was a terrible decision on their part, and I, it was one that I saw, like, no way were they that stupid that they were just going to leave them for two days and that's it. Because they're limited units... And who the hell leaves out limited units for only two days? But apparently the answer is Dragalia during Halloween. So I don't know what the hell was going on there. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. See you guys in the next one. You guys have a good day. You have a good night. Bye-bye.